This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And we would like to send a huge thank you to LOL Surprise and MGA for sending us this enormous <laughs> PR box in celebration of the LOL Surprise Fashion Show doll line and Winter Fashion Show Movie, which you can stream right now on Netflix. As you can see, this is huge. There's a ton of stuff in it. This is, I mean, this is one of like the most elaborate PR boxes I think we've ever received. <laughs> and we are going to be unboxing this with you guys and overviewing and kind of discussing all of the stuff inside. We also previously shared a little reel and TikTok with our initial unboxing experience. I will link that in the description below if you haven't checked it out yet. So we are already like aware of what's in here. It's a lot of really cool stuff. Um, LOL Surprise OMG dolls, tots, lots of things to celebrate the movie as well. And throughout this video, we're going to be discussing non-spoiler little fun traits and aspects of what you can expect in the LOL Surprise Winter Fashion Show movie and some of the characters we'll be meeting in the dolls inside. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the spoilers from the movie. We'll give you guys a good, nice spoiler warning before we actually jump into any of that. So we definitely encourage you to go check out the movie on Netflix if you haven't already. So we're gonna remove everything from out of here and we'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so this is everything that it comes inside minus, uh, they did give us a big rollout of a red carpet, which is really cool. And I am wearing some beautiful shades that they've given us, as well as a feather boa. They did send us a cute little, what do you call this? A little like, like welcome celebration letter, um, super cute. The whole box is very themed as, you know, a high fashion haute couture experience. Um, and that's definitely, you know, the theme of this entire line, um, you know, all about walking down the runway in your most fabulous fashions. And of course it's aligned, um, you know, it's very much themed after the real world winter fashion week. And what's really cool about the OMGs in this line in particular, um, and also ties very much into the movie, is mixing and matching fashion pieces in really unique and creative ways. So I'm very excited to get into this stuff. We're gonna give a bit of an overview of everything we have here, um, you know, kind of what it is, where you can buy it. Just because there's so much to cover here, we're probably going to be doing a majority of the actual unboxing of the stuff off camera, and then we'll bring everything back on and kind of overview everything we got. They did send us a couple things for the for our viewing, uh, which we did yes. use viewed separately. But yeah, they gave us a bunch of really cool little um, props you could put on, like a cute little kitty cat. Um, these, that, that's really cool that like, they didn't have to, but yeah, these make really cool photo props. Yeah, like I said, the shades and the feather boa, boa. We also have some pink popcorn for our viewing experience. We did already watch the movie, but definitely gonna be snacking on this popcorn. I feel like it might be like cotton candy like flavored or something. Well, it's, we can try it. We don't know, it's we'll pink. Try. Yeah, we'll just try it right now. And you know, it's been really awesome seeing a lot of other people on Instagram kind of joining in on the celebration for this line and this movie. Um, you know, the movie premiered on Netflix October 22nd. This is right now, popcorn. Regular popcorn. Yes. That's pink. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the largest <laughs> item that they sent us is the LOL Surprise OMG Fashion Show Mega Runway playset. Um, and LOL Surprise has released really similar playsets in the past that come with like a pair of OMGs and then a variety of tots with, you know, little clothes you can mix and match. Yeah. So this is the playset that comes with Styles and Sachet, who are both in the movie. Sachet is a total 
diva. She's, She's an affluent designer with an attitude and Styles is really awesome. She's really sweet. She is, uh, as her name implies, she is a stylist. So she works very closely with the designers in the movie. Um, and the movie is very Neonlicious centric. Neonlicious um, from LS Prize LMG series one is the main character in the movie. Yeah, it, this is huge and it comes with so much stuff. Yeah. yeah, so this definitely seems like this is gonna be one of those things that's like a huge unboxing experience. So we'll probably take a bit of footage of that and just kind of overview it, but we're just gonna take everything out. And this, by the way, costs $139.99, um, $140 essentially. We did notice though it's like on sale right now on Target.com. Definitely you know, be on the lookout for those holiday sales. And yeah, you can find it at pretty much all major retailers that sell dolls, mm -hmm. Target, Walmart, Amazon. So next up we do have I guess these you would call these like the standard releases for the OMGs. Um, mm -hmm. There are two versions. There is um, a hair product, hair edition version, where the main focus is on restyling their hair. And this one is, this is Lady Braids. And um, there's also um, Twist, Twist, Twist Queen. Queen. Twist, Twist Queen. Queen. Twist Queen's the other one, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I saw the, we, we saw these pop up in stores and they're both really, really cute. Uh, I really love Twist. Twisted babe. Twist, Twist queen. queen. <laughs> Twist Queen is super cute. I love her colorful hair. Yeah, um, she's an influencer. She is, yeah. She live streams a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Always wants the latest scoop. Um, and I really like Lady Braids as well. You yeah, know, she's... her hair's a lot more colorful. <laughs> In yeah, person. yeah. I, I really. That is one thing I will say about watching the movie is you see a lot of like outfits and accessory details of some of the characters, and you're kind of like, ah, I want that doll. <laughs> no, that's she very looked, true. Yeah, yeah, Lady Braids looked really nice in the movie, and so it made me want her doll more. So it's yeah, it's really cool that we got her. Yes. And we do also have the style edition La Rose, which I am obsessed with La Rose from we saw her. I actually had like already bought myself a La Rose a while ago. Um, she was one of the first ones we started seeing on store shelves when this line came out, and she is the style edition fashion show OMG, and the style edition ones come with a huge variety of fashion pieces that you can mix and match but not just like standardly mix and match you can use the pieces in really unique ways like there's a sleeve that can go on her arm but you can also use it as like a leg warmer really cool really fun creative very fashion centric stuff and the other style edition omg is missy frost um she is one of sachet's models um in the movie, um, she's a bit of a diva herself as well, and La Rose is a hardworking, underappreciated, um, kind of like a student of Sachet. So we meet her apprentice, pretty early. Kind of, apprentice, yeah. sort of, yeah, and we meet her pretty early on in the film as well. She's so cute, she's so pink. Yes. <laughs> I love her. Yeah, these are priced at $34.99. Yes. Let us know which kind of play style do you prefer? Do you like more fashion pieces or do you like kind of like the hairstyling aspect of these? Yeah. yeah. So also included are six LOL tots. And I was looking at this uh these these series the series and wanted several of the ones that are included. And Max actually bought a bunch already, so <laughs> these will be mine. Yeah, so these are priced at $9.99. They're the standard LL Surprise Tots, and the Fashion Show series and it has a variety of different characters. You could pull potentially either a fashion designer or a fashion model. So we'll unbox these. We'll let you guys know what we got. So I think, honestly, it was like Black last year, Black Friday Club last year, where we actually bought this game to, I don't know, if we. We have all these ideas and we bought this game to do kind of yeah. like a playthrough and we haven't actually done it yet, but... It was around the time when the LOL Surprise trading cards came out. Yes, and we also bought a bunch of those too, so if you want to see some older stuff, let us know. But yeah, this is uh, a game that we wanted to play. LOL Surprise Movie Night on yes. Nintendo Switch. And this one's based on the... Uh, it's based on the movie Magic Line, yeah, which came out some time ago. Um, it's really cheap now on like Target.com. Mm -hmm. You can get the digital version for 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah, but it makes sense it's in this set as well because it is movie night and we're, we're supposed to have a movie night. But that was everything included in the giant PR box that we got. Yes. Um, again, thank you, MJ, for saying that. When we first got it, it was this huge box, and I can probably fit in it. 
I, I think I'm pretty sure I can fit in it. It's a massive it box. It is a massive box, and yeah, um, yeah it's just everything included. Yeah, it was like Christmas. It was Christmas, just opening it and yeah. seeing everything, yeah. Really cool. So, all right, let's check out some of this stuff. So this is Style Edition OMG La Rose, unboxed. And she's really cute. I will say also about the general unboxing experience of these ones. Um, the garment bags seem to be made out of a thinner, like very papery material um, compared to some of the previous OMGs. So those ones um, can't really like keep them. Those particular ones, I yeah, I don't I don't think you could really keep those. You kind of have to like tear them to get them open. I was able to maintain this really cute little BB boutique bag, but you have to be really careful because all these paper pieces are like taped together. But she comes with a ton of different fashion pieces. And um, she also comes with a little mannequin stand. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that says LOL Surprise OMG. And so you can keep some of her spare fashions on here. I think La Rose is absolutely adorable. I love her. Um, you know, I think, you know, if you're a really big fan of pink and pastels, um, she's very like cute pastel winter aesthetic. Um, and these are actually really detailed earrings. Oh, um, for sure. Her earrings yeah. remind me of almost like a perfume bottle, kind mm -hmm. of. It's really cute. Yeah, I love that Sailor Moon to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she comes with really cool stuff, like uh, her little um, fanny pack. I assume it's a fanny pack. It's really cute. And oh my gosh, and these little pom-poms on her, her uh, skirt. Dang, yeah, these are really nice pieces. Yeah, really adorable. I know there's, you know, certain fashions that I've seen people share across Rainbow High Dolls as well. As other um, brands. Yes. Yeah. Dang, so she kind of comes with like, like at least three outfits. Yes. Yeah. And what's really cute about her hat, uh -huh. so she has a little fabric hat, which those can be a little tricky to keep on, um, you know, on dolls' heads, but it has like this little mesh. Yeah, I remember that in the like movie, yeah. Put down, so it's kind of like, it's really fashionable. Um, and I don't know, well, you can like shove it on her head, probably not really, but. <laughs> you probably could. Oh my gosh, don't ruin her bangs. Yeah. She has very interesting bangs, to say the least. Her hair is, she has really unique hair. I mean, a lot of, um, a lot of OMGs have really unique hair, but she, it's a very, like, a bubblegum pink, um, that I almost, it's maybe the light, playing tricks on my eyes, but it almost feels like there's really, really pale tones of like both white and almost like a lavender in certain light, but it's very bubblegum. Well, it's two tones, because yeah. one side one, one side is like a, a pink and one more is a lavender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I am really digging her little pencil skirt, which you, if you look at it closely, um, the stitch work is heart-shaped, so it's like oh, little hearts. Wow. And the little, I guess you call these sleeves? Or yeah. Cuffs, kind of? That's, like. I would cut sleeves. Yeah. Or, or um, arm warmers? Arm warmers, yeah. So she also has these really cute, puffy little pieces uh, with real pink ribbons on them that can be used as arm warmers. But the really awesome thing about these is they double as leg warmers. So you can fit them around her legs as well. Um, there's over 320 different looks you can create with the Style Edition OMGs. There's just a ton of different possibilities. Um, and I really like the fact that they included pieces like this that you can get really creative with. Um, you know, it definitely ties into a recurring theme in the movie where it's like you don't necessarily have to go out and get and buy a bunch of new fashions, you can get creative and do really different and unique things with, you know, fashion pieces you already have laying around. Um, I thought that was just a fun, you know, cute sentiment in terms of kind of playing with fashion. Mm -hmm. Even her shoes, uh, these are kind of like platform boots, um, but they double as skates underneath. So cute. That was in the movie as well. Yeah. you take off the little bottom and they become ice skates. Yeah. She's so wintry. She is. Loves it. And she also has a really cute pair of glasses that have like a like a visor oh, you can kind of yes. pull up. Oh, it says yeah. OMG on it. Yeah, really cute. I'm, she might be the contender for my favorite like doll in the, across the OMGs for the fashion show line. She's mm. so cute, I love her. <laughs> All right, so we open up Lady Braids. Um, she comes with a lot of cool stuff. Um, they even gave you a kind of cute little 
little pamphlet on like everything she comes with. Cause like we were like thinking like, what are some of these? Like what is this? But yeah. So many, there's a lot of hairstyling tools in yeah. here. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of really cool different things you can do. Um, the styling mousse, I believe, is used um, the same ordinary, you know, hair mousse would be used for, but I think you can use it to like curl um, and twist her hair. Yeah, so let's just go over everything and then we'll go through, through this. Okay, so the cool thing is this it comes with a really cute little styling chair in place of a stand. So you would, you know, you would use this, but it does come with like a hook to help um, the doll sit in it. And there's also a suction cup at the bottom. Um, and then uh, for her accessories, she comes with a bunch of rubber bands to help tie the hair if you like, um, as well as, um, yeah, these are also kind of decorative rubber um, hair bands as well. Those look like you could use that on like yourself too. Or maybe if you're... If you have long hair. Like a little hair clip. Oh, she comes with sunglasses. For styling, you could do uh, um, three ways. You can have her have straight hair, which you can use a pump of mousse, and then uh, it comes with a comb that you can brush out her hair to get rid of any waves or curl or braids that she has. Um, the wavy hair is actually really cool. So they, it comes with this wavy hair curls. Wave hair curlers. Yeah, yeah wave hair curlers. You stick this a chunk of her hair in there along with this tool, which this tool is called a hook tool. Um, you, so you can grab a piece of hair and slide it through and you let it sit there for at least 20 minutes and it will make your hair wavy. It is kind of interesting too that some of the hair edition OMGs have kind of elaborate hairstyles out of box. Yes. So to do a, a lot of this stuff, you'll probably have to take out like these braids and stuff like that, although she has several braids. So if you want to like try it out on just one section of her hair, you can do that. Yes. And she also comes with five crimp breasts. And they're these, which you just attach to her hair after applying some mousse. And you let it sit for 20 minutes and you get nice crimped hair. Yes, so a lot of possibilities. Um, obviously, because she's the hair edition, um, she doesn't come with quite as many fashion pieces as, you know, LaRose did, but I do really like her outfit. Her yeah. outfit is super cute. She even comes, I love her little arm warmers, um, thumbless. I'm a really big fan of, um, like, thumbhole gloves and sleeves. And she comes with a cute, like, little ring. Um, and so there's a lot of different hair play possibilities here, you know, um, we might show just, you know, a couple examples on screen of different things you can do with her hair. The OMGs come with their own edition of Fashion BB magazine, which is a highly coveted magazine cover. It's a hot topic in the movie. Um, there's sort of like a competition going on essentially to get on the cover of Fashion BB Magazine. So with each character you buy, that doll is on the cover. I wish they came with a normal stand as well, but... Yeah, it's a little bit challenging to sit her in the styling chair when she's fully dressed in her outfit because she's kind of wearing like a, like a form-fitting skirt. The yeah. skirt is really cute. I really love the feather trim. Okay, so here we have the LOL Surprise Fashion Show Tots. We're gonna open one of them on camera so you guys can kind of see everything that comes inside and then we're going to open our other five balls off camera and just check out all the characters we got. Hey guys, so I have no idea how this happened, but we were recording this on my phone and the video somehow switched to slow-mo. So we're gonna have to overdub this audio, but we're gonna show on screen here all the stuff you can find inside the fashion show LOL Surprise Tots Balls. Of course, it's pretty much what you would expect inside an LOL Surprise Ball. We got a lot of cute little accessories and we have a nice little LOL fashion show package. And the one we got is Western Honey. And what's really cute is you get a unique poster by character in this series. So you'll get a poster for the character you pulled. And here is the full collector's guide. There are a lot of really cute ones. So Ooh, is... yeah. So we got... Western Honey. Western Honey. And oh, she's a popular character. Okay. Yes. Ooh, I want Pink Angel. So I know, cute. I want her. 
All right, let's get her fully dressed and we'll unbox all of the other tots off camera and then we'll check out all the characters we got. So we open all six of our uh, little LOL tots and we got duplicates of everything pretty much. <laughs> so uh, so we did originally open this one on camera. So we got her and that this one was Western Honey and we pulled another one of her. And she has uh, vitiligo. Yes, she does. Yeah. And then the next girl we did pull was Mod Babe. Um, and once again, we did pull a duplicate of her in another ball. And she is a model. I love the tweed look. And then the last one we pulled... A uh, snowflake. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, she's really cute. I she's love her. She's very cute. cute. She's also a model. Um, and she looks like she has the metallic finish on her hair, which we are a big fan of. Um, yeah, the, the pure glitter finishes can obviously get a little bit messy. And this is definitely a very glittery line. Um, but I also have here um, several tots that I pulled from the same line. Um, which is funny because you didn't pull any of the ones we got today. True. Yeah, so Max yeah. pretty much has the full collection minus uh, Pink this. Angel, which I want really bad. <laughs> fancy Hearts? Do you have Fancy Hearts? Oh, you do. You have the Ultra mm -hmm. Rare. I hate you. Yeah. yeah, so I got the Ultra Rare Fancy Hearts as well. Um, she's really cute. The Tots are, of course, in the movie, uh, the Winter Fashion Show movie. Uh, fancy Hearts is in the movie, and she's adorable. She's very glittery. This line is really cute. These tots are, yeah, they're definitely, you can tell they're all high fashion inspired. Um, I'm particularly a big fan of La Crystal, who is a designer. I really like that her top is sort of like translucent iridescent. Mm -hmm. And she has really cute iridescent earrings as well. Uh, some of these are actually kind of unique too, because I feel like they don't really add an extra layer of glitter normally. And it's like shaped um, glitter, or a different type of glitter mm. than the standard. He has a heart glitter that's on Classique. The fashion show tots are super cute. All right, so we now have the task <laughs> of opening the fashion show mega runway playset. The actual unboxing process for that, again, is going to be kind of a lot. So we're probably going to just show a bit of it, overview it. And once everything's out, we'll discuss our thoughts on it. All right, so here is the Fashion Show Mega Runway playset. There are two OMGs, six tots. Uh, it looks like there's two little sisters and two pets in this entire unboxing experience. That definitely looks like it's gonna be an experience. Oh my God. Oh, this is like a huge booklet. <laughs> Oh so my things. god. So oh. this, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, OMG. <laughs> oh no. That's a lot. Okay. Five hours later. Okay, well, that was an experience. <laughs> so the Mega Runway playset seems to be very similar to the LL Surprise OMG remix super surprise in that yeah it's just a massive unboxing experience where you have to follow this list of steps essentially opening up the different accessories and pieces of everything inside and so yes of course here we have the omgs sachet and styles and we also have all the tots that they come with and it also seems like the impression i have is these tots are the little sisters of omgs throughout the fashion show line. Like I'm pretty sure Snow Leopard mm -hmm. is Sachet's little sister and it seems like Big City BB is Styles' little sister. Cause these two are wearing pretty much like matching. Um, oh yeah. And they have similar color schemes. Their boots are like the same oh, too. They're like yeah. light pink and blue. Snow Bunny definitely seems like she is, she seems like she is La Rose's little sister. So that's cute. You can kind of collect, you know, little, a little surprise family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like, yeah, even the little little sisters are based on, yeah, the two characters included inside. Yeah, and you get little, um, you get these little, like, cards and stickers. No, I think they're just little 
They parts. might be stickers be no. because look, there's you place. Stickers. Oh, they are. Stickers. Yeah. So you get so you get like miniature little fashion BB magazines for both styles and sachet. Um, and then there's these little spots where you can put stickers. Although this side says place sticker here, and this side says glue area. Yeah. But it does. It seems like you're supposed to essentially add, um, you know, whichever BB you like into. Um, the inside, yeah, into the inside of the little magazines, um, and of course, the fashion show runway itself is a massive playset. You can use it for a really cute display or photography backdrop. Definitely, just be mindful, of course, that you're following the instructions throughout the whole thing, and it is. A bit of an arduous process if you are an adult collector or if you're buying this for a little one, just be aware of the fact that you're probably gonna spend upwards of like an hour. An hour <laughs> or something like that. Um, because you have to match all the accessories and fashions and pieces to the tots and the OMGs. Um, and of course, you're encouraged to mix and match different things, um, and there's really cool things you can do, um, you know, with some of the different accessories. It seems like Sachet's jacket is intended to be turned inside out if you want like a different look. So you have that like that super metallic hot pink side, and then there's kind of like a sparkly side with like a sheer layer. Um, like a mesh layer. Yeah, um, and there's also, there's crazy things you can do with some of the fashion pieces, like in Styles boots. They can be ankle boots or knee-high boots. There's like a separate little piece to add on. Yeah, just like with the whole rest of the series, there's all different kinds of things you can do with these pieces. It's not just like, you know, a singular look. The box itself is not just kind of like an unboxing experience. You can actually make it into a, make it into like a play set. Uh, it does have a runway with a, like a track that you can um, they give you little pieces where you can attach the um, the stand on and you can actually drag it along like a train for the characters, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's like you're encouraged to keep some of the packaging. Yes. Yeah. And of course, both of these two in the place that do come with stands. I have to say. I wasn't really sold on um, Styles and Sachet's dolls in this playset when I first just started seeing, um, you know, just like the initial um, promo images and stuff like that. But actually seeing these characters in the movie and then also seeing these dolls in person, um, they're a lot nicer in person than I thought. I think there's certain aspects of Sachet's fashions that it feels like were a little harder to transition to doll Form. She looks amazing in the movie. <laughs> she looks really cool. Um, but some of these, it's a little tough to layer them, but of course you can do all different kinds of stuff with them. Um, I actually think in person, Styles is my favorite between these two. Um, she's just a really fun variation of color. And I definitely remember when she revealed her runway look and I was like, okay, that's banging. I really want that on the doll. And got this really cute little, yeah. it's almost sort of like a multicolored plaid. Yeah. Like a train with like a really cool bow. Or, or like, you know, like quilted almost. Maybe quilted. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they, both of them come with three different looks uh, out, of, out of the box. And you can of course mix and match them as well. Um, very cool. I, I think this would make a great gift for someone who is a huge fan of LOL Surprise. Um, honestly, there's like, it was like 64 pieces or steps, you can totally turn it into an advent calendar for two months if you like. Yes. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. I Honestly, some of these tots are really cute. Oh yeah, yes. adorable, mm -hmm. really cute tots. But um, I have to say one thing is figuring out which piece belongs to who is a little, was a little difficult, but we figured yeah. it out. You kind of have to do cross-referencing of the images and the artwork because I don't think there's a section that the, the instruction booklet is pretty comprehensive, but it doesn't, I mean, you can sort of base things off of like promo images and you can look that up, but um, yeah, just be aware you're probably gonna be doing some cross-referencing to confirm which pieces go with who. You can mix and match them if you want, you know, and obviously that's just like the suggested signature looks. Real quick, before we go, um, I'm gonna make a few notes about these dolls and sort of this line in general. Mm -hmm. um, and also just in relation to the movie, um, which first of all, I was pleasantly surprised by the movie. The movie was a, was really cute. Um, and I, as someone who like, I actually haven't watched a lot of the LOL Surprise animation thus far, I have watched like some episodes of House of Surprises, but um, just as I'm not 
completely familiar with like the canon of any ongoing plot or storyline um, for the most part. But the movie was very cute. Um, there was a lot of really great music and I think it was a cute story relating very heavily to, of course, you know, fashion, creativity. Um, and again, I really liked kind of the message of, you know, doing unique and fun creative things with fashions you have, um, rather than necessarily needing to reach for something separate. Is that called upcycling? Upcycling, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, I, I agree with Max. I, the music was banging. I, I Honestly, the sound, both the soundtrack, like the, the musical uh, songs on there with actual singing was really great as well. Even some of like just the background music was really good as well. Um, and uh, I guess the other thing is, it's kind of cool if you are a collector of just the line itself to point out different characters in the background, like, hey, it's blah, 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 and there's this person and that. There's a lot of like old, I mean, yeah. obviously you have kind of the, the signature four from series one, but then there was also, I saw like angles mm -hmm. and you know, there were like definitely other OMGs and other tots. Um, you saw a lot of the queens, which I thought was cool because I loved the, uh, the queens tots and OMGs, which by the way, fun fact, we filmed an entire review <laughs> of, um, the queens OMGs that just never saw the light of day. I'm sorry, but just, we had too much other stuff to do, but, um, but yeah, it was really cool seeing all those different characters from past lines. So yeah, just jumping real quick into spoilers, um, because some of these spoilers inform my thoughts on the dolls. So, um, spoiler warning if you have not seen the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, go do it right now. Turn on Netflix, it's watch it right now. It's only an hour long. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a quick, breezy watch. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, so now that you're back and ready to talk about the movie, I was shook <laughs> that LaRose turned out to be kind of like the villain by the end. Um, especially because I feel like up to that point she was built up as this very like sympathetic character and she was really cute and she was like working really hard for Sachet, mm -hmm. who was being horrible to her. And then she kind of just turned out to be this like weaselly assistant who just did things she really should not have been doing. Um, so that was a little shocking. And I was like, oh my gosh, when, the adorable <laughs> little pink girl. is <laughs> When the, she had her little moment with uh, Neon Licious, where Nia Licious made her outfit and she was explaining to her like, oh, like I'm actually her her apprentice. I'm, I, I'm not actually her secretary. It's like, oh, she's totally the villain. She's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, yeah. Kept, yeah, so, but yeah, it, it was like a weird, it was a twist. It was a twist. They made like the really ditzy assistant yeah. as, the, as the villain. Um, yeah, and she was kind of, you know, cast away from Fashion Week as a result, obviously, mm -hmm. because she stole, you know, Neon Licious's looks, and that was very dramatic. Um, but yeah, you know, as we said, the, the movie was very cute. I actually thought at the tail end when Neon Licious revealed her big runway look, I was like, oh wow. I was like, that's a fun way to incorporate the OMG Fierce mm -hmm. fashion. Um, so I think that was a, a fun little, you know, wise move for them to do. And that that's kind of like the most glamorous, you know, get up kind of, of, you know, the traditional OMG character. So that was really cute. Um, again, it just, there was a, a very hearty amount of Easter eggs for all surprise collectors. And again, it's not just specific to this line. There's like, if you, are a, like a long time collector and have a lot of the characters in line to be like, oh my gosh, like I know that character, I have that that look or, mm -hmm. you know, it makes you want a lot of things too. You're like, oh my gosh, that one's so cute. That was, like that fashion's so cute, I want that. Mm -hmm. um, I love the stop motion. I thought that was the best part of the movie. Those little like yeah. sequences. Um, I was surprised by it too. It like, yeah. took me by surprise. No, I was like, oh wow. What? I was like, like is, is, this, is this like a commercial? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, but it was very yeah. cute. I, I thought the way they incorporated that segment into the film was really cool. Very unique. I enjoyed the film, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I want to listen to the soundtrack. Yes. Yeah, MG is producing some bops over on Rainbow High side as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, I think the fashion show line of dolls is really cute. And you can definitely tell, I mean, OMGs are always very loud, you know, and kind of in their presentation, but I definitely 
can tell that this line in particular is very inspired by high fashion and, you know, the world of, you know, luxury brands um, with a focus on the winter season for sure. It really is a winter fashion show, mm -hmm. yeah, like winter fashion week. Um, so I think there are a lot of really strong OMGs and TOTS across this line. Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. like, yeah, if you're already a fan of, you know, All Surprise, OMG, and stuff like that, this line is most definitely worth checking out. There's a lot of, and I think because there's so many different fashions to play with, and, you know, like, there's the hair stuff, too, for those accessories and those pieces, you can use across all different types of other dolls and, you know, the mixing and matching. I hope we see more OMG Fierce, as we've said in a previous review, because I definitely, um, you know, those dolls have very upgraded like articulation and posability that's one thing that makes it like a little bit difficult when the omgs have very like layered detailed complex outfits is you know their their body sculpts and articulation start to kind of come into play in challenging ways but fierce you know gave us something new and upgraded there so honestly every time omgs lol surprise come with a new line they always manage to surprise me with you know the way they handle the, the, like the themes and the way each doll or tots are different in a sense. The LOL Surprise brand is very good at giving you a lot of options and make, uh, allowing you to be creative in your own way. So I, I really appreciate that aspect of it. And you know, these dolls are meant to be played with and uh, you know, you, you're not gonna get that kind of bang for your buck anywhere else. So let us know what you think of the LOL Surprise fashion show doll line, as well as the winter fashion show movie. We're very curious what you guys think, you know, who are some of your favorites. Um, you know, despite her character's turn, I do still think La Rose as a doll is probably one of my favorites in this line. And Styles really surprised me. Styles is really nice in person. The runway playset is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, it's fun. but but it's really cool. So yeah, let us know what you guys think of all this stuff. Uh, you can check out our full LOL Surprise playlist on screen here, as well as in the video description below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see next on our channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.